What's up, people? It's your boy Level here, back with another E3 2018 quick take. Um, and you know who it is. It's my boy. It's Nintendo. And they had their direct yesterday. And so I'm here to get my quick take on it. And we'll dive into this more on the podcast. But let me be quick. So, um, I'm going to say Nintendo did a solid job. I'm not going to say they did a great job. I'm not going to say they they knocked it out the park. I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm not going to lie to myself. They did a solid job. And what I mean is no, I didn't see the stuff that I wanted to see, that I would have desired to see. But what Nintendo showed was not bad in no in no means. I mean, they showed great stuff, stuff that makes the Nintendo Switch a system that would cause folks to, you know, give it a try when you start seeing these type of titles showing up. To me, they 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 um definitely focused on third party, but they didn't. I feel like they didn't do enough of that in the actual direct. They showed a lot of third party, but I don't feel like they spent enough time on it as they should have. You know, the little quick wheel that they had where they were just running through like. You know, Dragon Ball Z Fighter. You didn't. You didn't show it. You just. You showed a quick clip. You, I, mean, I feel like it was just <sighs> too much Smash. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm glad. You know, happy for. I'm not a Smash guy. I'm not a Smash guy. You know, what I'm saying. But I do play Smash. But I'm not an enthusiast like others. You know. Um, but it was great to see what they showed i mean all the characters that have ever showed up in smash is in this smash and then they added an inkling and they added ridley now let me say this man i'm not understanding this whole argument that ridley cannot be a playable character in smash i don't understand the argument when for my understanding super smash brothers were like toy figures that were brought to life and battled each other if i'm not mistaken i thought that's how that worked i don't i don't think the 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 actual universe or game setting plays a a a a factor into uh who can and can't be on the stage of smash i think to limit smash to all really is too big it makes no sense all the whole universe is crazy. That's the whole point. You you fighting every character in Nintendo's portfolio. I mean, to see to see Ryu fighting Rio. If you can accept, I mean, Ryu fight Mario. If you can accept that, if you can accept the fact that Bayonetta is a playable character and makes sense in the Smash Brother game. If Solid Snake <laughs> makes sense to be in the Smash Bros game. Pac-Man, all these characters, then why can't really be in the Smash Bros. game? Y'all sound, y'all sound silly to me. I don't care who it is. Yes, you sound silly. That was the dumbest argument. Has been a long time dumb argument. He's too big. He's too. He's too. No, he's not. He's not too big in the Smash universe. He's smaller in the Smash universe now. Now he's not too big. When he's in Metroid Prime game or uh, Metroid game, then he's he's normal size. But he is Smash Brothers. He's small. He can be played. Now shut it up. Let it go, people. All right. But getting back to what I was saying, Nintendo spent a little too much time on Smash. <laughs> oh, I can't lie, too much time on Smash, bro. But it was still solid. I mean, Fortnite. Paladins, Dragon Ball Z, Fighters Z, I mean Z Fighters. Uh, that game at the beginning, the the mech game, I came Damon Tom. I don't know how to say it. I ain't even. This is a quick take. Dope, fire, and that tricked me. I thought that's finna. Oh, Nintendo's finna lay. Oh, they finna lay it out. But we didn't get those titles we want. But this is the thing I've come to understand, and this is why I say it's solid. And this is something me and the me and the guys was kind of discussing. See, I have come to understand, and I, I I have to learn my privilege, and don't I don't think we as Nintendo fans really take into fact the privilege that we have with Nintendo at this time with how they are doing and presenting news. 
I understand that Nintendo is not fin to expose their full deck at E3 anymore. That's just what it is. Y'all lost y'all mind last year and said, and then we need to stop talking about who won and who lost E3. Well, the only person who lost E3 was EA if anybody lost, but nobody do, to me this year won. And we had, I deal with that in the podcast. I'm not going to deal with that right now. But y'all lost y'all marbles over a font of Metro Prime 4. No footage, no date, just a font that said Metroid Prime 4 as if none of us knew the game was in development. If we we just totally believe they wasn't gonna make another Metroid Prime for real. So and y'all said Nintendo won because of that font. The same year they only showed you Kirby, Yoshi, a font of Metroid Prime 4, and I think Odyssey was big time, but we already knew about Odyssey. So the surprises was a font of Metroid Prime 4, and that won, but some kind of way, too much Smash Bros. lost. <laughs> y'all ain't got no consistency at all, man. Y'all y'all sound crazy. Oh, they put really in the game is it's a bridge too far. I can't get with y'all. I can't, I can't take y'all serious no more. No, it wasn't what I was expecting. Neither was last year. To me, this year was better than last year in some ways because, I mean, I, I would say it was about they tit for tat. I mean, yeah, Mario Odyssey was definitely the dope deal of that that uh, uh, E3. And I guess that fun for you guys, it wasn't for me. I, I knew they was making Metro Prime 4. That never shocked me. Anyway, this is a quick take. I got to hurry up. So, in the end, I think it was solid. I got to give them a grade. I say Nintendo did about a C, C+. Plus. I ain't going to give it a B. I won't say it was a B. I won't do that. I won't lie here. It was about a C, C plus. It was average. It was it was solid. It was straight. And and But again, when they need to make more announcements, that's when they do more directs. That's the privilege we have as Nintendo fans. When they want to announce something, we get a direct all year round. We are uh, uh, if there's a possibility that a direct to show up at any moment, Nintendo needs to make an announcement. That's a luxury that neither Sony nor Microsoft has. We're we're spoiled right now. They don't have to release all the information at E3 because they're probably going to do another direct sometime between July and August. Another direct will come, and then probably sometime in October, November, another direct will come, and. This is how we, this is, that's spoiled, bro. And they make major announcements sometimes in them directs that ain't, e, that's post E3 and before E3. Anyway, that's my quick take. It was solid. Nothing, nothing grandiose. But anyway, you know I was going to take long on Nintendo. I'm a Nintendo fan. Come on, people. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Stay tuned for the podcast later on tomorrow. And this is your boy, Leverhead, signing out. Deuces.